there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I am coming to you today from the MSC Divina. And we are specifically going to be talking MSC Divina and MSC casinos as a whole compared to carnival casinos today. Carnival cruise ships, yes, all casinos are carnival games because you can't win them. Uh, so I've got my MSC hat, I've got my carnival shirt, and we're going to go ahead and we are going to explore the casino on the MSC Divina, talk about their program, how it compares to carnivals, and everything like that. But one of the cool things is the casino does uh, help me stay in something called Yacht Club on this ship, and I can just swipe my magic card, hit a button, and we get a priority elevator directly down. So I'm on deck 15 right now. This elevator should take me directly to the casino. Now that's a benefit that Carnival can't offer. Yes, this is their higher end suite experience that they do generally comp to pretty high casino customers. I want to be very, very clear. I do not, I know people are gonna joke, they laugh at this. I don't go to the casinos for fun. I go to the casinos for work to kind of show you what's going on and stuff like that. I go to casinos at home for fun. You don't see me making reviews of casinos at home, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you the MSC Divina Casino, or eight, we're 15, seven, six. And we're gonna talk about how MSC's casino program differs from that of Carnival. So let's go ahead and we'll jump out. Like I said, the casino is closed right now, so we can film inside of it. That's what's important. Um, it does look like some of the machines just kind of disappear as to what they are. But I wanna first, we'll talk about slot machines. So, we got slots here. Ooh. Oh wow, I got a high roller room? I can't say I've ever even seen this. That's kinda cool. That they have a high roller, it looks like a roulette table back there. Yeah, high roller roulette table and blackjack table. And it says, stay sober on the back of it. But. Uh, yeah, I've never even seen that, because I don't think it's been open. Um, so we got Lightning Link, show you the machines. We've got Jolly 8s. We've got a lot of dancing drums. This is a small section of the MSC Divina Casino. When I say small, I mean like it's like 15 machines that is their smoking section. So they can smoke in this area during operating hours. Tiki Fire, Heartthrob, we got some older machines, triple cash and stuff like that. Yes, they do have Dragon Link. They do have the Piggies. They do have the Coin Trio. They do have Prosperity Link. They do have Dancing Drums. They do have all the, the ones that you may love. We're gonna talk about tables and stuff like that. Lock Link. Uh, again, Samurai, if you wanna play that. Another thing they do have that Celebrity did not have last time I was on board is they do actually have video poker on board. We'll get there's a machine I want to get to in a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about the rewards program and everything like that. You'll see this is video poker. Celebrity didn't really have video poker on board, they were installing it on the summit last time I was on board. But let's, Carnival has a video poker. Sorry, we're talking about Carnival. And they do have on almost every single one of their ships out of the US now a craps table. Now, Craps has amongst the best odds in the casino, so people like Craps tables. And they do have a massive, massive bar. Again, this is the Divina. Um, some slots here. And yes, if you've seen my carnival concept before, they do have right off the main casino, a children's casino. They call it a video game arcade. But what's the real difference between winning headphones? Oh my gosh. Those are knockoffs of the Apple uh, AirPods Pro. What's the difference between winning headphones or stuffed animal and winning money? You still put money in to win it. I wanna look at the rest of the slots, then we'll break down the rewards program and everything else like that, as well as the bets on the table games, because I think that's an important differentiator between them and Carnival. Again, okay, uh, this, um, this is their platform. This is where they play um, slot tournaments. So this is the slot tournament machine right here. They generally choose some game that's not available there. They have a seven bank slot tournament. Piggies, the cool thing is on, uh, on some of these Piggies machines here, you can actually buy the bonus feature, which is kind of cool, that you can buy the bonus feature. Uh, again, I'll show you a little bit more. Firelink Explosion, Jewel of the Dragon, uh, and some older uh, machines. I love jackpots, I love free games, Spinferno, and believe it or not, even ye old coin pusher. 
I know, it's like, what year is it? Ye old coin pusher. Again, these are one cent machines that start at like, they said there's some bets you can do for a quarter. I mean, I haven't played with all, I'd say there's probably 140 machines here. I mean, the quarter bet you could do if you only have a quarter, you come over and play jacks or better. This is the best way to watch free play. I might make a video on that in the future, not this cruise. Um, but let's talk about something that is a slot that they have here that's kind of interesting. Uh, and it's this machine right here. It's a digital roulette machine. It runs as a slot machine. This is something that uh, Carnival doesn't have. And honestly, no other line, other, oh, that, that woman wants me to come over. Uh, no other line other than MSC actually has this. It is a digital slot machine. Um, it's a digital roulette machine, I'm sorry. Uh, and it spins the ball. You can start, this is not make sense, on the outside on roulette, so anything that's not a straight number. You can start betting at $1. And on the inside, you can start betting at 50 cents. The maximum on the outside is $200. The maximum on the inside is $25. So, if you know roulette, a lot of people make fun of me for playing roulette this way. If you know how to chase roulette, this is your game. I'm up uh, indiscriminate about this cruise on roulette. I like it again. Outside numbers here, start at a dollar. Uh, you do get uh, one point for every $6 that goes in here, one point for every $3 that goes in the slots, I think one point for every five dollars that goes into video poker. Um, but again, uh, 50 cents on the inside here, so that splits columns, things like that, with a $25 maximum, or one dollar on the outside with a $200 maximum. Now, I want you to compare and contrast, and it is double zero, not triple zero or anything like that. I do want you to compare and contrast that with the table game. So this is a $10 minimum, I believe on this one. So you can get a $10 minimum on table roulette and you can't start at 50 cents and your minimum is $5 on the outside, I believe. Um, is, and it's American roulette, so it's zero double zero. I will always play the roulette machine compared to that. But here's where things start to get a little bit interesting. If you're a Carnival cruiser, uh, I do want to say much like Carnival, MSC does if the day is C day and the next day is a C day, so we're leaving today and the next day is a C day, they will be leaving their slots, their video poker, and their little roulette wheel open all night because the next day is a C day. So, um, where's it going with this? Um, here's the other thing though nobody really has as many side bets on the table as Carnival. And yes, it's a Carnival game. I know I got my Carnival logo there. All of these are carnival games. All the odds in every single one of these games is stacked against the player. So, you know, eh, you know. Uh, but I'll tell you an example. This is three card poker. Three card poker, the money in three card poker is made on the six card bonus. Why I like it is here, you can only put a, you can put a, just a dollar on the six card bonus. That's where the real money is in this game is in the six card bonus. Um, but they don't have prime. They don't have the prime bet, which is all of your cards being the same color. That's the bet they have on Carnival, uh, on that game. Uh, they do have, though, unlike Carnival, they don't have, uh, they do not have a uh, Let It Ride, but they do have, uh, what's the name of this damn game? I don't play it. Uh, Baccarat. Baccarat. Now, here's the funny thing about Baccarat here. I wanted to learn how to play Baccarat. I had a friend here who knows how to play Baccarat, and he said, don't play Baccarat here. He said, Baccarat is usually a pretty even money game, but they changed some rules here to make it better for the house. I don't know anything about Baccarat, so I can't say that one way or another. They do have $10 minimum blackjack, which is very different than the uh, Hooters Hotel I was at about two weeks ago, the Oyo Casino in Las Vegas, uh, which had $1 blackjack. This is, I believe, $10 blackjack, and they do have the dream pairs, so just to look in there, you can see the different dream pairs. And then we've got right here, again, another blackjack with dream 21. And then we have UTH. Um, I believe that these two are hand shuffle, unless they just put the shuffle machine away. Um, yeah, that doesn't look like there's room for a shuffle machine here. Uh, so these are, oh no, no, these are machine shuffle. Um, Celebrity has one hand shuffle, one machine shuffle. Uh, Carnival generally has one hand shuffle, one machine shuffle on, not on blackjack, on three card and on UTH. Um, they do only have trips. They don't have a pair plus on their UTH, so they only have a trips there. Um, 
or a pocket, pocket plus. Carnival has a pocket plus where you get an ace, ace, a king ace, an ace face. They have a pocket bonus. Um, so that's kind of a cool, uh, cool benefit. And then you have pair plus over on the other one. Um, let's just talk about what else we've got here again. You've, you've got the dream bonus that's on blackjack. And uh, these you get rated, I think it's for every $1 theoretical, you get one point. That's your theoretical loss. You're not going to do nearly as well points wise on these tables as you will on slots as a pro dollar in. But guess what? You're less likely to lose because you have known odds here. I do think I'm a fan of a, oh my God, am I saying this out loud? I'm a fan of Miley Cyrus. And if you'd like the best of both worlds, well, you know, the best of both worlds is uh, this machine right here because it gives you the most points and has the lowest starting number. Yes, I understand of the table games, roulette has the worst odds. Please don't blow me up in the comments. But I love roulette because the odds are very clear, very apparent. There's this beautiful lady who's gonna beckon me over in a minute. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, beckon me over. All right. Now she's, she's like, because the wheel's off, so she, she doesn't spin. She just touches the side of it. And she goes, oh, oh, it's sensual. Oh, yes, come on. She's going to notice that I'm here in a second. Oh, come, oh, you. You come on over. Come on over. Yeah, oh, she's, she's looking. She's looking. She's like, the casino's closed. Yeah, 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 me. Come. Yeah, me. Me, come over. Casino don't open for like five hours. Um, <laughs> so I do want to talk about other things they have in the casino. They do have bingo. Uh, they do have lotto, like the other casinos do. Lotto is an insured lotto. Basically, they're going to pay out pretty much everything over $10,000 machine-wise is insured here, meaning that you're paying a small percentage of every bet to an insurance company. Lotto, uh, they pay out anything up to $1,000. The casino pays out. Anything above that is an insured payout that pays out. They also have bingo. I would not play lotto. I would not play bingo because the return to player is too low on those. Here's the thing. We've been talking points. We've been talking points. We've been talking points. If you understand points on Carnival, you get 1,500 points on a Carnival cruise. Let's say you've never gambled with Carnival before. You get free drinks in the casino for the rest of the cruise. MSC has a very, 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 very clear points matrix. The rewards for MSC point matrix, they start at 1,500 points. 1,500 points to get to 10% discount on a future cruise. When you get to 5,000 points, that gets you an inside cabin on a two to five night cruise. And then you go up to 45,000 points, gets you an inside cabin in Yacht Club. Generally, I actually play enough to get a five to seven night uh, Yacht Club, uh, not five to seven, uh, six, to, six to nine night, sorry. Six to nine night Yacht Club cruise. Uh, and the, the majority of my play actually comes through bubble roulette. Because if you chase something for long enough, it will eventually hit. Here's a differentiator from Carnival. A differentiator from Carnival is, like I said, you know the exact number of points you need here to get a future cruise. On Carnival, people are like, how many points do I need? How much do I need to gamble a night? How much this? How much that do I actually have to use? That's a loaded question on Carnival. All they publicly advertise is 1,500 points. Now, I've played enough on Carnival that now I get drinks on us everywhere. I get comp balcony cabins and things like that all the time. I like the clarity in MSC's rewards program. Um, also, I didn't mention this, MSC does not do tax forms for any payouts whatsoever. Now, you may be responsible for claiming those taxes yourself, depending on the country. I'm not the IRS. You're not going to hear me say anything about that. So MSC um, does not issue tax forms, is open all night. Now, Carnival, you can buy casino money at a 10% discount by buying AARP gift cards. So if you're just going to run it through and you run it through on something like Double Zero Roulette, which has a 5.25% house edge, well, you know, you can beat the house edge on Carnival. They have roulette that's digital on a machine, but there's not a physical ball. The difference is here, there's a physical ball. Um, oh, that's a tough one. Here's the answer. I gotta break it down. If I do not want to play slots at all, at all, that's a big statement, I'm gonna put Carnival ahead of MSC. But just due to the fact that they don't report slot payouts, so if you're a slot player, 
all right? If you're a slot player, this MSC Casino should be your number one choice. Now, on this cruise, there are some people that are working in this casino that need some of these stickers. Not sure why I really carry them around. You can see that. It says for rectal use only. Um, you know, there's a couple people that can, uh, I, was, I was accosted by the casino manager here last night because I asked her a question about they're supposed to be serving double points during a time and they didn't. MSC is very, very bad at customer service. They're also very, very bad at rewarding casino customers during a cruise. Uh, they'll reward you after the cruise. But, um, I mean, if I was a bad boy, which I'm not, I'd be putting, this is the casino manager's office, I'd be putting my, uh, for, 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 rectal, for rectal use only uh, sticker right there, because that's kind of where it belongs. Uh, I was accosted and accused by a casino manager like I'd never been accused and accosted before. Uh, but if you are a slot player, MSC is where to go, especially if you're a high limit slot player because uh, you don't need them tax forms. If you're just a table player, Carnival's got some better sucker bets on the table. I say sucker bets lovingly, because when a sucker bet hits off, you know, when a sucker bet hits, a sucker bet's good to go. I am an expert at pretty much everything in this casino besides, besides craps. So if you've got questions, I've got photos, I've got everything like that, Leave them in the comments below, um, and I'm going to be happy to answer them. Or you can send an email to nopantsprofits at gmail.com. But I show you the crap table because, honestly, I can't answer crappy questions. <laughs> I can't answer crappy questions. Uh, that's why I show you that table um, and why I show you again. I'm not a huge blackjack player, so it's got standard blackjack. Uh, blackjack pays, uh, uh, I don't know what it pays. Render insurance permitted, but you see, you have these dream pairs. Uh, that was a minimum 15. There's a minimum 10. I don't know if it pays two to three or six to five. Again, I, uh, I am no no expert on blackjack. The other must hit on soft 17. I think that's pretty standard. Again, someone told me the Baccarat rules are not fitting for the player. That's something that Carnival doesn't have. But if you do have any questions, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. But why, I, again, I want to go over. I like Carnival. Because you can become a member of AARP, and yes, I'm in my mid-30s, and I'm a member of AARP. You don't have to be a certain age to be a member of AARP. Uh, and that will get you the ability to buy up to uh, $12,000 worth of gift cards, which you can use in their casino. I said that out loud? I guess I did. At 10% uh, off. Uh, I'll, I'll link that below so you can kind of see how you do that. Uh, but here, you don't have tax forms. So I'm going to kind of wrap this up in the best way possible. My favorite game in any casino in the world, I know, I'm weird, it's okay, it's bubble roulette. Why? Because I know how to beat bubble roulette. And yes, I've made an 11 series, an 11 video playlist that explains how to beat bubble roulette. Fuck, if I remember, I'll link that below. Love bubble roulette, love the low minimums of bubble roulette, but I can get similar to that on a video game, meaning there's no actual ball on Carnival. Carnival has, ooh, let me say this. Carnival has better drink options too. But I like to play Highland slots sometimes too. The right answer is a mix of both, but here's what I tell you. If you're a slot player and you only play high limit slots, MSC's for you. If you're a table player only and you're not hitting more than 300 to one bets on tables, because that's when they issue you tax forms on Carnival, stay on Carnival. Um, because, yeah because you're, not, you're gonna get worse tables here. These are worse tables than Carnival. Why? Because you don't have the sucker bets, and I love the sucker bets. Uh, Prime, the uh, pair, pocket plus bonus, uh, pair, uh, the pocket bonus uh, that's on the on, uh, on Ultimate Texas. Because remember, I want to just tell you, the money in this game is on trips on Ultimate Texas Hold'em, and the money on three card is on the six card bonus. And what I like about the tables here, the only thing I really like about the tables here, you're going to laugh, out of all these tables in this whole casino, the only thing I really like is that here, you can play $1 on the six card bonus. Because they don't want to pay off massively when it hits. On Celebrity, I was playing that. Um, 
I, I know with Celebrity, I bring in this video because I'm going to Celebrity Casino literally the day I get off of this, I'm getting on Celebrity, going to the casino. I will make a separate video on the Celebrity Silhouette, but on Celebrity, I played that uh, and you have to play that for $5 and you have to go a lot deeper into your pockets before something from there hits. So yes, if you are a high limit slot player, MSC is the place for you because they don't ask for who you are, where you're from, what you do, as long as you love me. No social, no W2Gs. Yes, say, file it if you want to. I'm not your tax man, but they're not going to give you anything. They're also not going to give you a win-loss statement for the year because they just pretend not to track that. Internally, they do. How do I know that? Because I've called someone and they told me, yeah. Internally, they do track it, but they're not going to provide it for you. Um, and... I will say if you are a sweet person, S-U-I-T-E, not S-W-E-E, -E, wait, S-U-I-T-E, yeah, not S-W-E-E-T person. Um, the sweets are a lot better on MSC, but the food overall is a lot better on Carnival. I know, I've thrown you for a loop. So you know what, if you got questions, put them in the comments below. Tell me what you play, tell me what you play for hand, stuff like that, and I'll give you my advice. The only thing I don't play, I don't play craps, I don't play Baccarat. I play, I have played craps. I just don't play craps. I don't play Baccarat. They do have a smoking section in their casino for now. MSC's been kind of moving the smoking sections out of their casino and putting it into little rooms. They have a couple casino games on, on their uh, newer ships. But this is Richard from No Pants Profits on the casino on, this is the Casino Venda, yeah, this is a very uh, European ship, Casino Venzitano. So, yeah, so Richard from No Pants Robinson. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my priority elevator. <laughs> I just take my key, that's sweet. Oh, come on, go like that. Press them two buttons. Then I should have an elevator come right to me with priority. I get two priority elevators, one up, one down. And that's gonna take us directly up to 15. No stopping or anything like that. Sometimes people will jump in these elevators and the answer is you go to 15 or you don't go. Um, this is Richard from No Pants Profits riding back up in a tight 25 minute package from the casino back to visit my buddy, you'll, you'll, you'll learn about him in another video, back to visit my buddy Bulbasaur. You might say, what are you talking about? But any of you guys are Pokemon fans, for some reason, the MSC Yacht Club Experience, which is their higher end suite within a suite experience, which I'll have a whole other video on, is sponsored by Pokemon. Are y'all like, what are you talking about? Well, tell me that's not Bulbasaur. Come on. That's Bulbasaur. Huh? Let me swipe my damn card. There we go. Let's go in. And I'll give you a whole tour of this in another video, but for the casino, I hope you enjoyed our overview kind of comparison of Carnival to MSC. MSC has a more defined reward system. Carnival has some crazier, better side bets. If you're not a slot player, I six Carnival, but if you are a high limit slot player, MSCs are a pretty welcoming place for you. More MSC reviews and all that are coming up real soon. This is Richard from No Pants Profits again. Comments down below, say, say the game you play, the limits you play, and I'll try and help you out there. Uh, or, um, or like all this, play the games, the limits, I'll try and help you out there. Or um, send me an email, Richard at, uh, Richard at nopantsprofits.com, nopantsprofits at gmail.com. It'll all eventually get to, me, get, get to me. And remember, when you wear no pants, and you play in a casino, there's only one thing you got left to lose. And you know what that is? That is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye.